Hello everyone, my name is Sakshi and today we will see how to use Java transformation in Informatica Cloud. So Java transformation is active and connected transformation which executes the user logic coded in Java. So there are two types of behavior of Java transformation. One is passive and second is active. So passive means what? The source and target rows remain same in passive transformation. For example, in my source there are three records and in my target data is loaded with three record counts. Means what? It do not change the position of rows. That's why it is passive. Active means it changes the position of row count. For example, in my source there are 100 record and in my target the record is loaded like 3 only. So it is it changes the position of row. So that's why it is active transformation. Let's see this behavior in mapping. I have created one to one mapping. We will take Java transformation here. In Java, you can see there are Java sort group by output field and advanced properties. Okay, so first we'll check incoming fields. See in incoming field there are total 5 records, 5 column names. So in output we will create 5 columns. So we will go in advance, you can check uh, this is the property behavior, active and passive, tracing level, transaction score, you can define your update strategy as well, you can enable the high precision. So let's try with passive behavior, we will check the passive behavior first, 
go to java in java there are import packages like helper code on input row and end of data so it so in on input rows we have to write down our code so you can check input uh, and output field here so go into the on input rows and click here we can write down our code so i have already pasted my code here let's compile okay select runtime environment here let's compile now Okay, so it is case sensitive. Now we will check. You can see here compilation successful. You will get this pop up. Now in target, we will do the field mapping. Map our fields here. So you can see mapping executed successfully. In my source there are 3 records and in my target affected 3. See. So record count does not change here. The position of rows are same. That's it. It is passive. Now we will check active transformation. Active behavior. We will go into the java, select advanced, select active, change behavior. Now in code we can give one condition, we will remove this code. For example, I want the salary which is highest than 10,000. So we will put the logic, here, in, on input rows, if employee salary is less than 3, not 10, uh, 1, less than 3000, then what will be the output, we will compile this. See the compilation successful, we will save this mapping. Let's run it.
here you can see mapping is succeeded with two rows only so in my source there are three records and in affected records two means is change the position of rows that's why it is active we'll check here see it gives me the record whose salary is less than 3000 so there are two records so in this way you can use the java transformation in informatica cloud as per your requirement you can write the logic into the java transformation thank you